Hello, dear students and followers. This is the Mining Geologist, and I'm back again with another very, very exciting training. Now, in this training, we are going to take a look at 3D geological modeling, one of the hottest topics related to geology. This course is going to be useful for anyone who is into uh, any geology related field like hydrogeology, petroleum, or mining, or any other thing. Okay, so in this course we are going to use the software Geomodeler, which is one of the top softwares in the uh, industry. And it is it uses what we call implicit modeling. It is different than explicit modeling, like if you guys are familiar with Serpac, for example, where you get to, you know, draw different lines in 3D and, you know, strings, and you do some manual interpolation to get the ore body. And that's actually very complicated, and you can't even update the model. So, for example, if you, you are going to add a drill hole later on, and you find yourself doing the whole thing again, but with implicit modeling, with a push of a button, you can update the model based on new data. So that's the difference between implicit and explicit. Now, this course is going to be uh, short in the beginning, but I'll make sure I'll update it uh, on a monthly or on a weekly basis. So if you buy this course uh, when it's first launched and you think it is a short course, don't worry because I'm gonna keep on adding new videos uh, every time I can so with uh, more case studies with more data and I'll try to share the data with uh, whenever I add new data I try to share them with you guys so you can try them yourself okay so the first case study or the first uh, you know part is gonna be very simple and we are gonna use this topography in here so let's take a look maybe this is a DEM a digital elevation model that we are we are going to use as our topography so let's go and create a quick cross section here inside QGIS which is a free software you can download to just give you an idea how the topography looks like so uh, this is a section in here you can see that we have some sort of a valley in here and we have some a small mountain in here so that's just basically the topography yeah Okay, so let's go back to Geomodeler and start a new, I mean like start a new project in here. Okay, so when you start a new project, this window will be uh, shown, and this is where you are going to save the uh, the the uh, the model that you're going to build right here, and you can call it here, for example, uh, 3D Geology or whatever you want call it this is basically the project name and this could be your name for example the mining uh, geologist you can put in your name in there and any description that you want now this is the real you know part we care about and this way you should really concentrate and focus so this is the extent of our project we can get these information very easily from quantum GIS so Basically, the topography represents the extent of the project we are working on. So how to get the extent? Either you can just go here and try to get the coordinates, or the easy way is to go to right-click and go to Properties, and you can get the project, I mean the topography extent in here. So this is going to be the, uh, yeah, let's make it like this. So this is going to be the uh, minimum. This is going to be the minimum X. Okay. And this is going to be the maximum X. Okay. And this one is going to be the minimum Y. And this one is going to be the maximum Y. 
okay this is the maximum y okay you can see that we have a very uh squarey you know that we have a uh, extend we have six uh six 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 thousand and ten and by six thousand and ten so that's square you can see we have a square in here so we'll write and now for the z elevation for the elevation so you can see that the minimum elevation we have here is 532 we need to go below that a little bit maybe 400 in here is going to be okay so also if you have some drill holes try to pick up the the deepest drill hole like for example it goes to a hundred meter uh, of depth and you got here the uh, minimum uh, elevation is 500 try to go like for example to uh, 500 minus uh, 100 and that's 400 so try to use for example 350 to give yourself a space for the uh, for the final layer in our geology and for the topography uh, I mean for the maximum Z or elevation you have like 620 trying to go above that a little bit maybe 650 that will work but we are gonna use 700 in our case just to give us uh, some uh, you know space 700 of course not 7000 now click on OK and it's gonna ask you uh, that the extent of the horizontal is way more bigger than the vertical yeah it's okay we're aware of that and now let's load the DDM which is actually our DDM and go to browse for that and go to the desktop and it is actually located in here that's the topography and now there are two I mean like one important thing in here is that the subsampling rate in here you can see that the, the, there's two in here which means that GeoModeler have divided the resolution of the topography by two. Sometimes you have a really high res topography that will make your model crushes or make it very heavy. So you divide it. But in our case, it's not really that heavy. So put in one, which is the actual resolution of our model. And we imp yes and we import the topography sometimes it would take a while it depend on the model that you have now this is the topography now uh, this is how GeoModel looks like when we uh, open it so that's it for this video in the next video we are going to take a look at how on how GeoModeler works and the different uh, sections that we see in here.